Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be hopping in to building a report using a third-party paid connector. So using GA4, using Looker Studio to build out a report using a paid connector. Uh, if you're new here, we are working our way through multiple uh, different reporting system. So right now we've used the GA4 basic connector, like just the default free connector. That times out pretty quickly, no bueno. Uh, we then build out the GA4 to Google Sheets using Mixed Analytics as the API builder. You can look, uh, find that down below. And now we're going to use a paid connector. And what we're going to use today is we're going to use two minute reports. It's a pretty budget friendly connector. It's able to do the majority of things you need to do. And it's fairly affordable, economical, and works all right. All right. Nothing, nothing good nor bad to say about them. Um, if you have not already uh, downloaded the Looker Studio uh, cheat sheet, head over to lookerstudio.vip forward slash YouTube. A lot of people have downloaded it. I think it's over like almost 2,000 people at this point. And uh, the newsletter is awesome. And every, I even have one person who printed out the cheat sheet and put it next to their report so that their entire organization is able to follow these criteria, eight simple steps. So enough on that. Let's hop into what we're going to do. So inside of a report, uh, we are gonna hop into two minute reports. So two minute reports is the system that we're using. It's really, really uh, economical. Let's just open it up as far as a um, quick Google search. It's by, I think Gox, I don't know how to say this. Basically they have uh, two products they have for Looker Studio and for Google Sheets. Nothing too fancy there. It works, it does what it says it's gonna do, all that jazz. So here we are inside of our account. What we have is just basically connected Looker Studio as the account right there, bada bing, bada boom. All it does is connect into the GA4 API. It's supposed to cache the data, so hopefully we don't hit the GA4 API limits as fast. We're gonna find out live as we do this together. So. What we're gonna do, hop into our report. We, you can see here we have the GA4 native connector. We then have the Google Sheets um, API limit, uh, which loads in Google Sheets. Um, we then have the uh, two minute reports right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop up here, click edit, and what we're gonna first do is we are going to add data to the report. Hit this button, type in a uh, two minute reports get my big old head out of the way. We're gonna to connect to GA4 by two minute reports. Um, all you gotta do is select the team and then you select the query which you selected. Um, here we go, Looker Studio VIP. We are gonna hit add on that. Um, by default, it usually just gives it a, a Google Analytics 4 as the data source, but we're gonna change that here in a sec. There we go. Um, and if you go to resources, manage added data sources, you can see here that it will be by an app script and this Google Analytics 4 is most likely it. So I'm just gonna hit edit on this and we are gonna rename this to two minute reports, uh, Looker Studio VIP and GA4. So that way we know exactly what we're doing, okay? The next thing we need to do is we need to swap everything over. So I'm gonna do is right click. We're on our, uh, just so everybody knows, we are on the two minute reports uh, page of a report. We are going to get rid of the uh, data tab because I don't like that tab there. We're gonna select this. I just made a copy of the other ones. We're gonna right click. And what we're gonna do is we are going to select all charts with this data source on the page. We can then change this over to our two minute reports Looker Studio VIP. And now we are able to simply um, swap them all over wherever we need to. So now we have just swapped all of the pieces over and now we can see how it looks. It might take a second to load because it is loading cache data. It takes a little bit longer, but we can click on them and see what data it's already trying to pull in. So here you can see it's pulling in the session source, the session medium by in sessions, the session cam pain name and sessions. There we are there. We then have this uh, report right here, which should break. It shouldn't work or it's going to be really weird. And we then have our pieces down here. So what we're going to do now is hit refresh. I'm going to hit command R and it will reload this report. And let's see if it takes a little, there we go. So see, it just took a second. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we are going to build this report to um, actually work. 
So here you have the, it says session, sessions, engagement rate, session. So it's basically just pulling in whatever it thinks should be right. What we need to do is we're gonna actually blend these data sources together to create something that is actually useful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a table and what we're gonna do is we are gonna basically use the event name as a filter. So if I put in this table and we have event name, um, you can see all the event names that are coming in from the GA4 data source. What we wanna do is we wanna look for only the specific event names in our funnel. So we have a very specific name of doing that in the Foresight system, which we teach at Better Than Data. Um, so I'm just gonna do that right now. So first thing I want is I wanna have the Foresight, the Foresight name, right? And then I want to have sessions and I'm gonna add in our filter. So here, if I hit add filter, come down here and if I hover over them, you should be able to see, we have impression uh, event name equals uh, impression lead. So that should work theoretically. If I click on it, we should only be seeing those leads. And while I do that, let me just show you what this looks like. We have include the event name that is equal to impression underscore lead. So here we have the foresight name, right? And then how many times people have done it. We then want to see the number of sessions and now we'll add in the event name for uh, just clarification. So that now we can see the foresight name and then the event name is impression underscore lead. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this and I hit command C, command V. We're then gonna do this one more time and get rid of the, the filter. We want the next step in our funnel, which is gonna be aware. Then we're gonna move down this list again and we're gonna add in engage. So here I'm gonna say, get rid of that one, engage underscore lead. And we're gonna make it one more filter and we're gonna click generate lead. All right, so then we're gonna click on these holding shift, right? And then I'm gonna right click and then hit blend data. One pro tip that I just did is basically when you're blending data, if you start on the left and work your way right, it's going to, and hold shift when you're blending data, it's going to add those data sources to, from left to right. So that way it's always working, okay? So now I'm gonna delete all of these tables. They just serve their purpose of being able to kind of quickly show how this is working. We then want to come in here and change this uh, blend to make sure that it worked the way that we thought it would. And so here we go, we got the foresight name, sessions. It should be the impression underscore lead, bam. This should be aware, engage, and generate. So now we have all those and it's left joined on the foresight name. Doesn't really matter, we could use a cross join, but we're gonna use this because I like to keep everything in the left, uh, left outer joints here. Okay, so here we're gonna call this foresight system lead gen. Uh, and I'm gonna put two minute reports T M R. All right, hit save. And now we are gonna hit close and here we should be able to add in everything here. Oh, one more thing I wanna do is rename all these pieces because uh, frankly, it can get kind of crazy, right? So here impression, right? Um, aware, engage, and lastly, we have generate. All right, so there we are. Let me hit save on those. Just give us, given them new names, nothing too fancy. So then now we should be able to put in here impressions, bada bing, aware, engage, and generate, okay? So now we should have the foresight name on the far left. We should have each of these across the right top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, hit Command C, and I'm gonna paste this in here as style. So space style only. That way we have all the styles in there. We're gonna delete this sucker, we don't care about that. We're gonna scroll down a little, oopsies, a little bit. Put that there, ta da da da. And now we want to figure out the calculation of the steps in between. So in order to do that, let's just say we want the last step. So if we need to do sum of generate divided by sum of impressions, all right. And this is going to be a percentage. I'm gonna hit apply on that. So let's call this conversion rate and hit apply. So again, we're using two minute reports here. So just to keep everybody on the same loop is we've got two minute reports, fetching the data, getting the data, um, caching it, and then ultimately showing us this report. 
Um, let's see if it errors before we get to the end. That's the, the, the truest test here. Um, impression, aware, engage, and then convert. And so you, here you can see the conversion rate of the different lead magnets that we have. You might be like, oh my gosh, that's terrible. Or, oh my gosh, it's great, but those are the pieces that we've got. Um, so now we're gonna do the same thing down here. Uh, we're just going to click on this. I'm gonna double click in. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna click on this and hit Command Shift G to ungroup them. And it really doesn't wanna go. Okay, Command Shift G should ungroup them. There we go, ta-da. And all we wanna do is hop this into our, I think it's Foresight Leads is what I called it. Let's just double check. All right, TMR, Foresight System Lead Gen is what I called it. So let's just find that. T M R foresight lead system. As you can tell, when you're working on a lot of reports at once, it can get kind of wild. So now what I'm gonna do is select all of these. And we are just gonna change this to that TMR foresight lead system. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in here and see if this works. We're gonna put impression, aware, engage, generate. So this might also, so this is gonna give us some, I'm gonna ungroup these. Command Shift G, again, that's how you ungroup things. Two minute reports, ta-da, ta-da. What is the error we're getting here? Well, when in doubt, let's just make sure. Oh, it's not the right data source. Here we go, that's our problem. TMR, Foresight Lead System. And there we go, TMR, Foresight Lead System. All right, so now what we've done, right, we've taken a report and built it out completely using um, this two minute reports, right? So now it is working. Uh, last thing we want to do on here is leads over time. So here, let's just use TMR. Let's see if this will work for us. Don't think it will because we don't have a date dimension. So what, that's what we'll do is we'll actually go back into this and we're gonna add a date dimension. It can get a little bit wonky um, because if you don't do it correctly on the blending, you can, end, you can end up duplicating your stuff. But what we're gonna do here is make sure that we keep that the same across all of them and use them in our left join, which theoretically should keep everything in sync. Date. Not sure why that didn't show up. Hit save. And we're joining everything also to table one, just so that you know, in case anything goes wrong, we have one table to troubleshoot. All right, let's hit save on that. So right, just adjusted our blend in the report. Nothing too fancy here. Um, just our basic foresight system. Now coming down here, I already know it's gonna work overconfident. Let's just add in date and let's put in impression. First impression, aware, engage, generate. Let's hop on up here to grab our conversion rate. Command C, hop down here, paste it in. Hit apply. And let's see if it works. Oh, we'll need to change this to a percentage. Oh, it worked. All right, so then that's loading in. As you can tell, Two Minute Reports is a little bit slower than the native GA4 connector because uh, it's actually caching that data. So what I'm gonna do is keep this blank and I'm gonna select this one and put the default as Cheat Sheet, capital Cheat. And we are gonna group these together. Command G to group. And now what we have is we've got a whole bunch of things in the way it works, all right? We've got this leads over time. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. We then have leads over time. We've got our cheat sheet here. We've got the ability to drill into the foresight, uh, which one we want to. And then we also have the uh, ability to see every single one at a glance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh this. I'm not sure why we're searching for free. I'm gonna hit Command R to refresh this entire report, which should load back to the defaults. We then have this loading in from two minute reports. 
Loading all this data, we then can select which one we'd like to see. If I want to see just the explain it tool, bam, now we can compare the visual funnels of the two. This over time gives us the conversion rate of all of them together. Um, if we wanted to, we should be able to select one, like super scorecard. Let's just actually select the cheat sheet. And this will filter the entire report. And so then down here, we should just see leads over time for the actual cheat sheet, okay? That's what I was talking about earlier. Same thing for, goes for our session source, medium, et cetera. And that, folks, two-minute reports did not air on us, and it looks to be loading fairly quickly, um, at least quick enough for me um, here. We don't know exactly how long we have before this breaks because uh, we can't see how many quota it is using. Let's just try clicking on a few things just to see how it works. If I click on share, again, that's kind of uh, our custom UTMs. This is all filtered. This should then filter shortly after because it is using a blend, but it is, does still take a little while, okay? So that's one big downside to using any caching system is that they all are a little bit slow when it comes to building out um, these types of reports that are more complex than your normal template that you see on the internet. All right, so then this loaded in, this loaded in, you can see our share, bada bing, bada boom, oh snap, the 30th of January, we crushed it with a 40% conversion rate, generating three leads. Um, so yeah, it seems to have worked. It's taking a little bit longer than expected. And so let's just uh, recap right here. We've got our sample lead report. This is the native GA4 connector. It takes, sometimes it's really fast, bam, there we go. But then it will air pretty quickly. So here we can just kind of compare. If I click on YouTube, oh, data set has been accessed too many times because GA4 doesn't know about blending. We then have the uh, mixed uh, analytics with G Google Sheets, right? So if we click on one of these, um, it should be instantaneous because it's pulling from that Google Sheets connector. So no matter what we wanna select, right? If we wanna select the cheat sheet, it should load pretty much instantaneously. And then we can see here are the, the conversion rates over time for all of those. This should also be uh, live as of yesterday. Um, so that is that. Lastly, we've got the two minute reports coming in hot. And this is looking at everything in combination with each other. Let me just reset this back to normal. And now we have three different ways. We have the GA4 native connector. We have the mixed analytics and we have this. Guys, that is it. If you have not downloaded the, the cheat sheet and joined the newsletter, I would recommend doing that. And without further ado, let me just change this for everybody at home watching. We're gonna put a mighty green check mark into the paid connector category. Thank you, Two Minute Reports, and have a great rest of your day. See ya.